The beer flu got you nervous? <laughs> Greetings, Star Wars stackers. How you doing? I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. If you're new to the channel, I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and get the bell notification click. That way you get updated with any new content. Today I'm talking about buying silver and gold as soon as you possibly can. Um, right now we have seen the markets react to fears of the beer flu and um, you know we're seeing the trickle effects or the ripple effects whatever the heck you want to call it um, and it's hitting the silver and gold and precious metals markets and you know in my opinion when you see a dip in prices such as these uh, you definitely want to jump on it as fast as you can. So with the silver and gold uh, prices being down yesterday and the day before just because of the beer flu fear. Um, this is a perfect opportunity to be purchasing silver and gold. And um, right now, what yesterday, gold closed down nearly $60, down 3.57%. And silver was down a buck 12, 6.31%. You know, I've been telling my friends for a while, oh, you should buy silver, you should buy gold, etc. But, um, you know, right now, in my opinion, this is like a fire sale. I think that, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a, a, a fortune teller. I, I don't know what the future holds, but I do think that prices most likely will correct themselves uh, and, and go back up. Um, once some of this hysteria drops, I think that the stock market will probably um, see some gains maybe. I mean, it depends on what more comes out with the whole beer flu and uh, how it's affecting travel and the energy sector and, and what have you. Um, but, you know, I do think that right now is a prime opportunity to buy silver and gold. So this actually is what I bought the last couple of days. I got a couple things off of Vatmex and I went to my LCS and got some stuff. And in a previous video, I did say that I wasn't going to be purchasing silver and, um, you know, uh, that much silver this, this year and be switching to gold. However, I got a great deal from my LCS US coin trust on American silver Eagles. And a lot of you have been messaging me, asking me, Stormy, what should I do? Should I buy silver? Should I buy gold? And I say buy both. Um, only because both are down right now and you know we've seen gold lately kind of go on a little bit of a tear and um is that all yeah, that's all of them so i just i think it's a great chance to to buy right now um these actually look really good so i think it's just a great time to buy silver and gold and um you know i tried telling some of my friends hey you gotta buy some gotta buy some but you know they some people they just don't really understand um, understand it, <laughs> you know, no matter how much you try. Um, but anyhow, and I did get these quarter ounce rounds generics. I'm not big into generics, but you know, me and my auctions, I like to uh, have stuff as giveaways. Um, these all are really cool. Um, but you know, I think that, you know, if you have some money right now to, to spend, I think that you should probably go out and buy some right now. Now, one of my friends, God, these are pretty ugly. <laughs> I bet you guys were thinking I was going to say these are beautiful. Look at this tiger. Look at the arms. It looks like man arms. Flipping weird. Um, these are the new Laos tigers. I also am a big believer in getting the firsts of any series. This is actually kind of cool. I'm about I'm digressing right now, but still, this is a Anubis, you know, god of death um, bar. This thing's really cool. Anyhow, um, I think that it's a perfect opportunity to be purchasing. And, and if you were on the fence or you have some money right now, uh, that was for, I hate this capsule thing. I got to get this out of here. I think that you should, um, you know, make a, make a purchase this weekend before the markets open back up. And if the markets, how the heck do I, oh, twist it off. And if the markets correct themselves, you know, and let's say, or let's say, let's say you buy right now and prices uh, go down further, you know, it's an opportunity to buy more. Um, you know, if you have a budget right now and you're on the fence, I would say 
and, and you're scared of the prices continuing to drop, then do what I told one of my friends on the phone the other day. Spend half. Go buy half. See what happens on Monday. And if prices drop more, um, then with the rest of your budget, go buy some more. Um, that way you don't feel like, uh, you know, oh crud, if I had just waited a little bit longer, I could have uh, spent even less. You know, it's a long game. That's going to happen from time to time. You just got to accept it and just look at it as just buying silver and gold and, you know, not that you're like day trading and, and losing money off of it, um, you know, anytime that the market goes up and down because you're planning on holding it for a long time. Um, you know, it's not really something to be speculative on. I mean, some people do. They have huge amounts of silver and gold, but not me. I'm, I'm just doing this for the long haul, doing this for, um, you know, retirement purposes and, and what have you. Um, I just, I don't like this thing, so I'm going to get this out of here and put it in another capsule. And you can watch me do it as I just ramble on about nothing. And uh, we're going to put it in this beautiful box that I got from Darth Stacker, my friend. If you haven't already checked him out, you definitely want to. But um, anyhow, um, gold. Um, let's get that there. Get these out of the way. So I'm curious what you guys are doing. If you're buying silver and gold right now uh, and what your thoughts are on this current uh, downward trend, how long do you think it's going to last? Because, um, you know, with the way prices are, I feel like people are going to see this as a tremendous opportunity to, to buy. And um, I feel like they're going to come back up. Now, where did I put those white things? Here they are. Um, and, you know, I've learned over the years not to panic. I've made a video saying do not panic. Um, because, again, you know, if you buy silver and gold or sell silver and gold while you are emotional over it, you're going to make a mistake. And that's something you do not want to do. Let's check out this quarter ounce gold eagle that I just got. 2003. Isn't that nice? Look at, look at that. It's a beauty. Um, when you when you buy and sell on emotion, and I've done it before with stocks, you regret it. So my advice is don't do that. Um, but, you know, right now, silver and gold being as low as it is, and it hasn't been this low in quite some time, I'm pretty, isn't that weird? I can play piano, but yeah, I can't do stuff like this. I just like mangled this thing. These things kind of drive me nuts. All right, let's try this without my glove on. That could probably help. Ay, 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 ay. All right, this one and like the next one, I think. Let's take this off. Do you guys have these things? These like adjustable insert. <laughs> I can't do it. It's like arts and crafts time is a struggle for me. Uh, how do I separate this inner ring here? Um, you know, silver and gold, it's it, in times of uncertainty, you see it soar. And that's what makes this whole um, thing a little bit different. Um, so, you know, I think, again, right now, being that silver and gold are down, it's just the right time to buy. And, you know... Like I said, if I had more, if I had more funds, I would be buying more. But I just don't. So this is what I got to deal with. Um, I almost want to just grab it by my bare hand, but that would go against <laughs> everything that I've ever stood for on this channel. Nope, not enough. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. If this wasn't a G-rated channel, I'd be swearing. I can't get these things. Darth Stacker, I think he probably sent this to me to... And then that's going to be too big. I can't. Let's take this one off. Um, you know, and I, I, as I do, I can't do two things at once, as you can see. I can't talk as I'm concentrating on this. I and mean, feel free to fast forward if you want, or if you want to just hear me talk about nonsense. Um, you could do that too. <laughs> All right. So, um, I just, I wish I knew more about, you know, this I wish I knew more about this flippin' beer.
flow thing. There we go. Boom. Get this out of here. I don't want this. I don't want this. This is like in grandma's basement. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll send this. I don't get it. I'll throw this out. What do I want that for? Um, get off my hand. <clears throat> I think that uh, my my guess is that silver and gold is going to jump back up uh, next week. That's my guess. And if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. I will be buying more. And I, you know, again, guys, I don't want you doing something based on what I'm saying. Um, but you know, I wouldn't tell you guys to do something that I wouldn't do. So uh, let's put this to figure out where. Oh, boom! Right off the bat, quarter ounce, right there. Let's put her with her friend. What's this one? It's a 1930s, pre-1933. Get this a peso. I'll just put these here. Um. So anyhow, let me know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. I'm curious. What do I got? A silver bullet here. Balboa seated. Seated half. Look at that thing. Look at that. How cool is that? The level of detail on this coin. Very, very nice. All right, guys. I've rambled on enough. Go buy silver and gold. So, guys, with that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. If you enjoyed this video, check out that video. This video is also awesome. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And long live the Empire.